First, we have a senior shortstop from Benton, Arkansas, graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Health Education. Please welcome Mr. Brooks Ballesteri. Next, we have a right-handed pitcher all the way from Petaluma, California, graduating with a Bachelor of Biz Business Administration in Economics with a concentration in international trade. Please welcome Mr. Brandon Hagerlin. And finally, an infielder from Atlanta, Texas, graduating with the Bachelor of Science in Exercise Science with a double minor in Marketing and Family and Consumer Science. Please welcome Mr. Lee Rayleigh. with a slightly open stance from the right side. The 2-2, two -two, he waves and misses, and the breaking ball was sinking down and away from him. He waved over the top of it for a strikeout. And he drives this one well in the left on a hanging breaking ball. It's over Crippen's head, and it's off the base of the wall at the 370 side. A leadoff double for the Bears. Yes, that's what we like. Speaking of the pitch, the hanging breaking ball is driven in the air to left center field, tailing away from Scott. He will dive, and he can't make the catch. It'll be another RBI double for Hunter Strong, and the Bears are on the board. Sanchez squares, gets it down up the third base line. This is going to be trouble. The throw is off target. It goes into right field. That will score one. Hancock will stay at third base. He swings and pulls a base hit into right field. That'll score Hancock. The Bears down by one, four, three. The pitch on the way from Skeffington is hit into left field, and that'll be caught on a diving play by Crippen. But tagging from third and scoring the tying run is Eddie Sanchez. It's four to four. The 2-0 pitch to Hunter Strong is on the way from Skeffington, and he swings, and it's a base hit to give the Bears a 5-4 lead. RBI number 39, he is now 2-2 two for two with his 72nd hit of the year. There's Strong dancing at first, the pitch. Rigo swings and drives this one deep into left field, going back and scripping at the wall. It is a two-run home run for Rigo Aguilar. 7-4 Bears. Aguilar is team best fifth home run. RBI's 34 and 35. And and here come the Bear Big Bats here tonight. No doubt shot to the right of the light pole over the 370 side, and he homers with his two nieces in attendance. And I know he's fired up about that. He thinks the world of those two girls, and what a thrill for him to launch a two-run home run. That will end the night of Skeffington. Davenport looks to second base to Solomon. Swung on and missed. Threw the fastball right by Warren, who has struck out twice in this game, both swinging on high fastballs. And nobody out. That'll get the job done as he drives this one deep into center field over Scott's head near the wall. He will reach up, and he can't make the catch. There goes McCurdy for third. He will triple standing up. He'll make the turn, and now they will run it back in. He's two for two with two RBIs, and he gets under this one and blasts this one deep to right center field. Back at the wall, and it will be off the base of the wall for another extra base hit. He will make the turn at second. He will head for third, and he will stand up with a triple. And here comes the pitch after a long pause. Hits it back up the middle. That's another RBI base hit for Rigo Aguilar, who is two for three with three RBIs now. 36 runs batted in. The pitch on the way. That's a liner in the left center field, a base hit. McCarty's going to get the wave around. He's going to come in to score. Ballesteri is heading for third, and he is out. That'll go eight to five. At third, but an RBI base hit for Hancock, who ends up at second base on the throw. And that's hit over toward third to Aguilar. He'll send it to second to Sanchez. The relay to first is in time. The 5-4-3 around the horn double play. He scored in the fourth inning after leading off that inning with a walk. He drives this one in the air to left field, and a diving play by Keaton Presley takes a hit away to start the sixth inning. On the way. Swings and hits it hard back up the middle to the shortstop who bobbles it. That'll score a run, everybody safe. That's going to score two runs. Sliding in safe is Ballesteri. Heading for third is Sanchez. Presley digging for two. He will slide in. Here comes Sanchez. The throw off target. He scores. Presley heads for third. He is safe. 
14-7 Bears. Mr. Davino on the way. That's hit hard right at Eddie Sanchez who leaps and makes the catch for the second out. Wind up the pitch. Check swing. They'll appeal to first base. Ring him up for strike three. He goes down on strikes. And defensively for the Bears this year. The one-two pitch on the way. Swung on and missed strike three with a changeup. Had him out in front. Hagerl has thrown two perfect innings. Scoring McCarty. That's line past the third base. Back into the corner. That's a fair ball as Eddie Sanchez will start the eighth inning off with extra bases. He makes the turn. He will stop at second base with a leadoff double. Swings and hits it hard, back up the middle. Knocked down by the shortstop, Pearson. The throw is in time, but that's another RBI. The reliever, Doherty, comes set, and he hits a base hit in the left hit field. A RBI single for Dusty Wright. His third RBI in his last two at-bats for the Bears. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way to Warren from Rogers. Swung on and missed strike three as he chased the pitch down and away. In progress as that is hit in the air to right field. Dusty Wright will back up on it. Still drifting back near the wall. Reaches up. He makes the catch. This game is over and Central Arkansas cruises to an easy series victory here tonight. The final score, Central Arkansas winning this one 16-8. And they'll celebrate with more high fives and handshakes in their sixth straight Southland Conference Series win. And they will look to sweep their second series in the last three weekends tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock.